Okay, we're back with the Kiwitz Digital Multimeter. We are looking at the KM100 Digital Multimeter. We're just gonna talk a little bit about how to use it. So, once you have the batteries in, to turn it on, you're just gonna go ahead and adjust your switch to whichever um, function you're looking at. And then to turn it off, you just switch it back to off. It does have an auto off, so after 15 minutes of non-use, it will go ahead and turn itself off. Let's talk about the first measurement that we're looking to do. Well, we can look at DC and AC voltage measurement, right? So you're going to turn the knob to either of these two sections, right? So here we're doing AC voltage measurement, and then down here you're doing DC voltage measurement, okay? So either way, you're going to have your red um, plugged into your red input over here, and black is going to go into your COM input. And that's how you're going to go ahead and measure that, all right? And again, if you ever want to hold the last measurement, you're just going to click the hold button. And if you want to turn the backlight on, you're just going to do a long press on that button. And then a long press is going to turn that off as well. So that is how you do DC AC voltage measurement. Okay, the next thing would be DC current. So as we mentioned earlier, this doesn't do AC current, only does uh, DC current. So we will turn the knob all the way down here. And again, you have some different ranges that you can select. So if you're out of range, just go ahead and turn it up a notch to a different range. So you're, you're still gonna keep these plugged into the same spots, right? When you're doing your DC current. And then you just go from there and that's how you do your DC current measurement. Next you have resistance measurement. So resistance is just gonna Go ahead and turn it over here to check your resistance, right? We're going to keep our probes, again, in the same places, okay? And then that's how we test resistance, okay? Now, if we want to do continuity measurement, de-energize the circuit you're going to be testing, and you're going to turn the knob down to here, okay? And it's telling us that we're out of the limit right now, but that's okay. So we keep our probes same places. We're gonna test, uh, touch the test lead tips together to check if they're um, connected normally, and the buzzer should sound, so let's see. You hear that beeping, so yes, they're connected properly. And then you go ahead and measure that circuit for resistance. Um, if there's no continuity, it will beep and the OL will display. So for diode measurement, you can keep it in the same place where it is right now, and then you can go ahead and uh, insert the probes in the same place where they are. And that's how you can measure your diodes as well. All right, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, pretty basic multimeter. It allows you to do everything that you should need to do for any uh, do-it-yourself projects for sure. Okay, again, the brand Kiwitz. It's the KM100, comes with a nice little case, comes with the batteries that you need, auto off, auto on um, function, so it'll turn off after 15 minutes if you don't turn it off on your own. All right, so if you need a multimeter that's pretty straightforward and basic, check this one out.